right, guys, we are here in the beautiful area of Buffalo Lake, Alberta. We are actually at the Buffalo Lake Provincial Recreation Area where we are finishing off a beautiful overnight camp. We even took the boat out onto the water and it was absolutely phenomenal. We didn't mark any fish, but that's pretty par for the course as I am a terrible angler. Today, we're gonna go into a little bit of detail on the Yucca Pack Camper. As you guys know, we pulled the old Yucca Pack Camper walk around video down and we wanted to make sure that we put it back up with the changes that we have so that you can see exactly what you're gonna be looking at if you decide to order Canada's best adventure camper, the Yucca Pack Camper. So for those of you that don't know, the Yucca Pack story kind of started a few years ago when I was working for another company building another one of Canada's amazing adventure campers. When Mission Overland Trailers moved production, we decided to stay here and offer Canada something that they had been asking for a while, an ultralight Canadian built truck camper specifically for the mid-size and the half ton size market that wouldn't break the bank but offers you a lot of amenities. For myself, I was searching for one high and low and despite there being tons of options out there, I didn't find anything that really fit my needs. That is how the Yucca Pack Camper was born and we're going to show it to you guys today. things that we've changed on the Yucca Pack camper that you're going to see from our prototype. This prototype's going on two years old now. One of the things that we've changed in our production models is we moved away from a single latch in the center to dual latches on the side. But what does remain the same on all Yucca Pack models is the fact that the doors are the same size all the way around. They still come with our awesome mole panels that cover the entire door, which just lets you put stuff like uh, emergency kit, first aid stuff, um, as well as some, some bungees so that you can actually get the gear that you want right here. They open at a, at a pretty decent angle so you're not gonna be smacking your head around and you can just reach right in, grab what you need, and away you go. So one of the things that we try to do here at Yucca Pack Campers is ensure that your money goes as far as it can. And that basically means that we offer a lot of amenities in our unit that you're just not going to find in any other manufacturer. And we believe that's important to offer some of the basics that you're going to need camping in order to really call yourselves a camper. So on the side here, as you guys can see, we've got a 110 Genius NOCO plug that feeds right into the internal cabinet. That's going to give you shore power when you're at a pay for site if you have access to power. It's also going to allow you to run a generator should you choose to. And if you go with the power management system that comes as an option on a Yucca Pack camper, that will also be paired with a NOCO battery charger so that you can make sure your batteries are charged up before you go camping and when you get home. Uh, you're also going to get a solar ready plug. All base models come with both of these plugs ready to use and the solar ready plug just basically lets you use a suitcase solar panel to charge the in-house battery. If you decide to go with our power management system as an option, it's going to get you a few goodies. One of the things that it's going to get you is a switch panel on the inside passenger of your camper. This is going to come with a six switch system that's basically going to allow you to operate all your interior lights and exterior lights. Exterior lights are optional, they don't come standard, but on every base model you do get a light inside the cab and inside the tent. The light that's inside the tent is rechargeable. You can just plug it into your uh, 
jackery or any USB port to give it a charge and put it right back up there. It's also motion activated. So if you decide to leave it closed, the second you open that tent, that light's gonna turn on. All right, so now some of the basics. So the Yucapac camper is made out of 100% aluminum. That's one eighth of an inch thick. So it's very strong and incredibly durable. And it's quarter ton size at its smallest size comes in at around 440 pounds. A six foot Tacoma model, for example, will weigh around 460 pounds. And the half ton sizes, again, depending on the model, will weigh anywhere from five, 485 pounds to about 500 pounds. We currently have models for the Dodge Ram, GMC, F-150, uh, Toyota Tacoma, Jeep Gladiator, uh, Chevy ZR2, and the Bison, um, Nissan Frontier, and the list continues to grow. So if you're wondering if we have one available for you guys, be sure to send us an email at dave at blindmanoverland.com. Hey, don't worry, it's just me. I'm back at the Adventure Factory now and I realized I wanted to talk about what makes a Yucapac camper so strong. Now, most campers, what they design and build is a frame and then they skin that frame. The Yucapac camper's a little bit different. What we do is form each piece. So each piece of a Yucapac camper is actually designed and formed in such a way that all of the strength from the camper comes from its shape and formed pieces. With a single piece of aluminum, about an eighth of an inch thick, you're, you, you can get a lot of flex. But when you add structure to it, by adding bends and forming a piece, you gain an insane amount of structure and an insane amount of strength. And this is what allows us to build the Yucapac camper as it is, keep it extremely strong, but still have a lot of flat surface and flat surface area to use to attach accessories uh, or to insulate and install our insulation panels. So I wanted to make sure that you guys understood why we go with a formed piece in order to create our canopy versus a, uh, a frame that's then sheeted and skinned. All right, so obviously another really important thing when you guys are out west having your adventures is how long it takes for you to set up camp and how long it takes for you to break camp. The Yucapac camper does boast one of the fastest setup times. The main reason for that is our innovative integrated cabinet. So the cabinet stretches from the passenger side to the driver's side of the camper and fills out the first 12 inches of the camper. Now what this does is it gives you tons of space that you can just store camping gear in and it keeps it out of the box. There's no need for heavy totes or bins, taking up valuable truck box space, especially if you're using your truck as a daily driver or a work truck like I am. One of the best features of that cabinet is the main featured Canadian maple drop down center table. If you decide to pair your camper with something like a fart system, which is what we have right here, the drawer system that exists within the camper itself is made and designed by fart. And it's actually designed specifically for a Yucapac camper. Because the cabinet takes up the first 12 inches of your hab space, uh, Al over at Fart Systems built the, the fart system specific to the Yucapac camper that allows you access to the far back of the box. Now, in behind the table, as you drop it down, you have an unfathomable amount of additional storage. It's also gonna be where all your main utilities are gonna be running through. So all your exterior lights, interior lights, and all the brains for all of your mechanical and electrical components are gonna be inside. They're all run behind a nice loom system, so they're completely protected, and it does give you access to the battery when you need it. All right, now an important thing to note as well on a Yucapac camper that we do have the option to insulate it. And our easy install insulation package is probably one of our most expensive options available. But what it does do is it gives you the ability to insulate both the tent and the canopy itself while creating a very fun and warm soft touch interior. Think of it as putting a nice coat of wallpaper on a wall and giving it a more warm feel. And that's what our easy installation package does. All right, now one question we get asked a lot is about the bed. So let's go up top and we'll share with you guys a little information about where you'll be sleeping.
All right, guys, let's talk about our top and our bedding area. So in the Yucapac camper, you're basically gonna have a 48 by 48 inch opening on all quarter ton models and about a 52 by 52 inch opening in all half ton models. What that's gonna do is give you enough shelf space in your top area so you can still set things down and have a workable space upstairs while also having usable space downstairs. Now, another thing that we do is we have a mattress panel system that works as two panels. So we have a large panel and a skinny panel. The skinny panel that you see here has an oblong cut to it. And there's always gonna be someone who's either a little taller or a little shorter. And this way, what you can do is you can, you can configure your bed in such a way that the tall person can sleep on the long side and the shorter person can sleep on the shorter side. And that way, if you're not using a ladder to get in and out of your tent at night, you can still access the bottom and get out when you need to. Our mattresses are finished with the same material that we actually use for our insulation package. So it gives you a nice uniform look throughout your entire camper. They're very hydrophobic. So if you do spill something on them, you're able to wipe them off, but they're also very comfortable and soft to the touch. So if you're not using some sort of bed sheet, your body's not gonna stick to them as well as they'd stick to something like a vinyl. Uh, inside that mattress, we have a three inch medium density firm mattress that helps for all types of sleepers. And if you're a side sleeper like me, you're really gonna appreciate this kind of mattress. If you're a back sleeper or a stomach sleeper, you're also gonna get lots of comfort and also a lot of support uh, in your evenings. Uh, in the material itself that we use for our tops is uh, a breathable waterproof material. It does, a really good job at keeping the elements out, but is also breathable. And the reason we want to go with something that's breathable is just airtime. When you have a top that doesn't breathe as well, or you're unable to air it out quickly, and then you close it, you're really going to encourage mold to develop. And we wanted to make sure that the material that we use for our top is able to withstand periods of time of dampness inside. Now we still encourage you guys to open your tops and dry them out after a heavy rain. This is the best way to prolong the material, but our material is also UV protective and does a really good job at breathing so that you can experience everything you want to experience when you're outside um, without getting that dingy inside smell. Now in the off season in the winter months this does get a little breezy but when you pair it with the insulation kit you get a nice warm area. You add a diesel heater or even a small buddy heater to the basement and you close off that bottom. That heat just kind of radiates through the mattress and into your core. So although the air around you can be pretty cold your core temperature itself stays quite warm. And then in the morning when you wake up and you lift that first bed panel, you get a really nice warm blast of air in the morning that just kind of helps you wake up and you don't even have to get outside. You can stand up to get dressed. You can make some coffee and go outside when you're good and ready. Our tops come with about 250 pounds of lifting force. So if you pair your camper with a roof rack like we have on here with either three or four crossbars, you'll have plenty of lift to both lift the camper up with a load approaching around 60 pounds. Um, but if you are going to be lifting heavier, we do encourage you to upgrade your shocks to about a 300 pound lift force. And that will allow you to lift things like canoes and kayaks uh, without having to undo them. And then obviously in our tops, we also give you both bug nets and doors and are secured in place via some D-rings and some hooks. So if you're having nights with the critters and you still want lots of protection from mosquitoes, black flies, whatever, you can put your bug nets up and enjoy the weather still. All right, so then you're gonna ask yourself, well, Dave, that's all well and good, but what if I wanna take my camper off when I want to? What if I'm just a seasonal traveler, a seasonal explorer, and I wanna be able to lift the camper off when I need to? Because we've actually included mounting bracket points on the side of every Yucapac camper. You pair this with one of our lift bracket accessories, and you'll be able to pair that with a set of Happy Jack camper jacks or a set of camper jacks, and that basically gives you the ability to lift the camper off when you want to, much like a traditional sliding camper, but a lot cooler. So whether you're looking to convert your truck into a full-time overland rig, where you're gonna travel the world and experience life to its fullest, or you're looking for the perfect rig to pair with your outdoor lifestyle, whether you're a photographer, a mountain biker, a hunter, an angler, whatever it may be, the Yucapac camper is gonna give you a very comfortable home away from home while maintaining a tread lightly principle so that the places that you visit can stay beautiful. 
All right, guys, and one of the most beautiful things about uh, a camper like the Yucapac camper, as well as many others, is your ability to kind of retrofit them to your needs. Uh, in the prototype here, as you guys can see, we've actually paired our Yucapac camper with the fart system. The fart system that we have is absolutely great. It's also 100% Canadian made and basically gives you an entire kitchen and living space on the inside of your Yucapac camper. Especially if you're gonna if you if you're deciding to pair your camper with like a 270 awning, I would really encourage you to get a system like this because as that 270 awning wraps around, you're gonna have full coverage over your kitchen as well as over the entrance to your camper. Uh, so in those really really bad weather storms, you can have an entire area outside available to you. Now the fart systems do pair very well with a Yucapac camper. And we have to give a shout out to Al over at Fart Systems for making this one for us. It fits a Yucapac camper just great. And most importantly, it doesn't take up a lot of weight and gives you additional storage space. So shout out to Al over at Fart Systems for helping Blind Man Outdoors and Yucapac campers with their epic adventure camper. And I do say there, but this one is mine. And I have gotten so many miles and joy out of it. I hope you guys will too if you want to support a business like ours i'm going to encourage you to hit that like and subscribe button as usual and if you guys want to learn more about our products or what we do here with our friends and pals in the great country of canada reach out to us at www.blindmanoverland.com all right guys so that's going to do it for this video i want to take a minute to thank you guys all for watching. If you're curious about a Yucapac camper, you can reach out to me at dave at blindmanoverland.com. Our current lead times are still eight to 10 weeks. And if you're in the Calgary area, I would encourage you to reach out to our Calgary and Southern Alberta vendor at Crave Automotive and they will get you set up for a Yucapac camper. That's gonna do it for this video, guys. I'm sure I've missed some things and if I have, or if you have any questions at all, be sure to leave them down in the comments. Give this video a thumbs up for us. It's the best way for us small business like us to reach a broader market and bring adventure lifestyles to people like you. Thank you so much for your guys' time. I hope you enjoyed the video. We will see you guys on the next one.